right, guys, so I hope everyone is doing well. I'm just doing this little update video here on our HB Toys. Uh, it's the 1001 truck, the 2021 Bronco. Uh, <clears throat> been reading in the comments about the Traxxas 2021 Bronco has a 324 millimeter wheelbase. I just want to clear that up right off the bat here. Uh, this one does not. It has the 313, uh, the matching to the, uh, TRX4 Sport. So the wheelbase does match the Sport, but not the Traxxas, uh, 2021 Bronco. Um, you know, I don't have the 2021 Bronco here to compare it to. So if that's the case, then the bodies are going to be different between, different between the Traxxas and this one. Which they're different anyways because, like I stated before, the grill does not interchange from the Traxxas without modification. Uh, so, I want to get into this. And I don't want to make a real long video because I know the videos have been really long. Uh, and I'm trying to, just this one's going to be a little shorter. Uh, a viewer did, the viewer that was mentioned before about... The skid plates is what he meant for the transmission, not the transmission that he swapped out. So it was like the TRX4 skid plates, he's saying, will will work on the HB Toys model. Uh, so there is into a lot of differences if you're comparing this to the 2021 Traxxas Bronco. Uh, I mean, the wheelbase is a pretty big difference. Uh, but from what I can tell, the chassis, I've compared this to a sport chassis I had down here, and I can't find a difference between the actual chassis rails and this so far. Uh, I did dive a little farther into the differentials on this. The front end's already done. Um, I, I got into the rear. Uh, there was comments in the videos that they didn't have any grease in the differentials, and I haven't dove into the transmission as of yet. Uh, but we have the rear out of this, uh, HB Toys right now, and what I found so far is, uh, I've already done the front, uh, there was grease, there is grease in the front and rears of this so far. The, the front end had some grease in it, and the rear here actually has grease in it as well. I was pretty surprised to come up with it actually having grease diffs uh wasn't enough grease not for me um and it's that cosmoline type kind of grease that they use uh, a lot of your you know import rcs come with the met you know if it has grease in it it'll have this cosmoline type grease you know any grease is better than no grease in my opinion so uh, but it, you can't really make it out probably here, but it does have some grease in it. Well, I'm going to be taking this apart uh, and, and actually going through with marine grease and, and, and packing everything how I usually do my, my differentials. Uh, but what I ran into here, I wanted to share this information. This has a, fully, a full spool in the, in the differential. Uh, this does not have any uh, unboldable uh, piece here. This is like one one piece unit for your gear drive here. Uh, I don't have Traxxas, uh, TRX four gears. I'm thinking the Traxxas gears would probably fit in this though, because I'm going to show you why. Uh, and I'm, we're going to, we're going to get into that now. Okay. So what I did was, is I pulled the diff cover off of the, uh, HB toys and you know, it slops right on. Uh, there, I, I have a stock TRX4 Sport rear cover, and I wanted to go into this and show you guys, for the guys that might be interested in buying some brass for a TRX4, check this out. The TRX4 diff cover goes right on this. No binding, no rubbing. It clears it just fine. So if you want to pick up brass, uh you know, diff covers or whatever diff covers you want that'll fit the TRX4. They will go right onto this. The screw, and I was right when I measured them, the screw holes are exactly the same. You can screw it right down. Uh, if the factory stock TRX4 uh, diff cover goes on it, I can't see why the aftermarket ones would not fit. 
Uh, you know, sometimes with the brass, you end up clearancing a little bit on the inside of them with some of the off-brand cheaper brass, but that's not really that big of a deal to take a Dremel in there and modify it a little bit. But these things are pretty much identical. Uh, I can't see. So you're not going to have any problems uh, picking up the diff covers in brass for a TRX-4. So they will slop onto this. I just wanted to share that bit of information with you guys on here. Uh, so that part is interchangeable with the diff covers. Because uh, like I said, I know that's one of the big go-tos guys go to uh, for brass. The differential so far, the front was butter smooth. Uh, it didn't have any excess play in it to where it needed any kind of shimming. Nothing was binding. Uh, this rear one right here, this thing is butter smooth as well. You might be able to make out the grease that's actually up in there. There, There's not much, but there's, there is some grease. Some grease, if you were to run it, it would help it a little bit. Uh, the gears seem to be pretty decently cut. Uh, they mesh beautiful. There's no excess play. There's no excess play really this direction. It, it's good and solid. Uh, it free spins very nicely. You can see here. There's no grinding, there's no clunky, um, so that, you know, it, it's not too bad, really. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that, and like I said, these are steel gears, and they seem pretty well made. I can't see there being a major, you know, problem with, you know, unless the metal is just junk, and I doubt that after seeing, talk, you know, the people making the comments and the videos and then some of the other research I've done. Uh, I've got to dive into the outers here. The fronts were really nice, too. They were, you know, nicely smooth. Uh, you know, the gears seem pretty well made. Everything's meshed together pretty well. There's not, like, excess play in your shafts here. Nothing flops in and out, you know. Uh, the bearings in this are not as good as quality, in my opinion, as, like, say, your Traxxas or most pretty much anything else. They are not a sealed bearing. Uh, they're just a regular race style bearing in this that I can find so far the front was. Um, they do have like a metal shield, but they don't have like the rubber shielding like the Traxxas bearings, and I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, none of the bearings in the front had any kind of bad play. Everything spun freely. Uh, as long as you go through this thing and you pack, you know, you do good marine grease on everything, I can't see you having any kind of major problems. Uh, this is the grease right here. Let me see if I can dig that out. This is the, there's a chunk of it right here. Some real, I don't really like this style of grease. And I've had a lot of RCs come with it in the past. It's just real nasty, chunky. Uh, I can get it up to the camera here. I can get it to focus maybe. I don't know if I can get it to focus. It's just that real just globby it's crappy grease guys i'd take the grease out of it and put real you know good grease in it you know uh but anyways that's uh what i found so far so you can run the trx4 diff covers on this the drive shafts are the same i did slop a trx4 drive shaft over it's the same um i did not know in that last video is aware thank you for the viewers to bring that to the attention that the wheelbase on the tracks is 2024 is 324 uh, millimeters, and this one's your standard sport wheelbase. So uh, that information is out there now, uh, and I appreciate you guys sharing that. Uh, as I run into other things, I will let you guys... I am currently on the search of a set of C-hubs. I'm going to take the front end back off of it. My buddy, I think, has a set, set of them. He's going to let me see if the TRX4 C-hubs slop over onto the front of this if they do uh i will come back with another video well and i'll let you know one way or the other even if they do or they don't so it doesn't matter uh but i just wanted to get some information out there on what i've ran into so far so the diff covers do interchange i'm almost 100 percent sure you'd be able to put uh, legit Traxxas gears or whatever company makes aftermarket Traxxas gears. So if you wanted to do a bit of overdrive or underdrive or whatever you want in your differentials, uh, I think most of that stuff's pretty much going to interchange with most of this stuff. I can't see there being any difference. Uh, the diff covers literally slop right on this thing, so I wouldn't imagine the gears to be any bigger or any smaller. 
Uh, you know, you might have to clearance a little bit of something maybe on the cover. Like I said, I'm just breaking this down for you guys as I get into it. Uh, and I'll have update videos as I go uh, because I want to make sure this thing's all greased up before we take it out and start running it. Uh, the last thing I want to cover in this video is the shocks. Um, these shocks are very... I'm going to have to... Tear, there is shock oil in them. I took the caps off of them. Uh, all four of them ended up having oil in them. I don't know what the weight of the oil is. Uh, but the spring rate is just, in my opinion, a little too much for this. We're going to run them. Uh, they do have the same Traxxas end on up here, the ball end. So if you have a set of Traxxas shocks, Traxxas shocks should just slop right over onto this with no problem. Um, these are just, I mean, it's not that they're, they're, they're fairly decent shock for an off-brand shock, and I haven't noticed any leaking working them in my hands. Uh, but the one thing I have noticed, they get sticky as they sit. Um, you'll, I don't know if you can hear it. Hear it? You can apply a little bit of pressure, it's like it has to pop. I don't know, you can't probably hear that in the... You can hear it maybe. I don't know, but not all four of them were that way. This one and then one on the front uh, had that little bit of just like a pop to it. So I'm going to tear the shocks completely down uh, and re-grease the seals uh, like I usually do. Not that because they're leaking, but because they just seem sticky. And we're going to see if we can get those working a little better on it, just to, you know, so they're a little more smoother. Uh, I just noticed two out of the four, which is weird, that had that little sticking problem. So uh, I'm going to tear them down. I'm going to go over the shocks, check all the seals. Uh, I haven't gotten into that yet, so uh, just keep that in mind. But all the shocks did have shock oil in them. None of the, none of, nothing, you know, I just pulled the cap off and looked. Uh, and they had that little sticking issue before I tore into them. So it wasn't anything I did. Uh, that's why, actually, I should have just went ahead and rebuilt them while I had them on there, but I wanted to show you guys on camera um, what I was talking about there. So, uh, that's where we're at right now on this so far, and I'll keep you guys updated on the videos for the people that, you know, want to know or are watching. Uh, I had picked up some more subs to the channel. I want to give a shout-out of thanks to everybody that is subscribing and watching. Uh trying to get back into doing some more scale videos. I'll have to take a break from this at some point and uh, clean up my extra cab. Uh, I've got to get some stuff going back to get uh, back for my scale stuff. I, I really miss taking the scale trucks out and running them. <laughs> uh, hopefully everybody is enjoying the content on the channel. I'm trying to bring stuff, you know, that everybody might have an interest in. Uh, I got to work on my mash again a little bit and get back, uh, get it 100% ready because it wasn't even 100% ready for the trail yet when I made that last video. Uh, I can't stay to as much as I can here with the mash again. Uh, I wish more people would kind of give it more of a chance because, man, they are a fantastic rig. You can check out my buddy, Sir Chirps a Lot channel. He's got a bunch on the mash again coverage if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but I got to get off here and get ready for work. I just wanted to share what was going on with this here on the channel and with everybody. And I appreciate everybody that's liking and subscribing the videos. So what's going on YouTube? <clears throat> this video that I'm doing might seem like it's a little out of sync a little bit. Yes, everything's a mess because I've had the new truck blowed apart here. Going, re going th through everything and greasing the differentials. Uh, just getting right into it, so... Like I said, the video is going to be out of sync. Uh, I'm going to try to edit it together to make it make more sense. But uh, I went ahead and pulled the front end back out of this because I was going through the shocks and redoing them. And I got into this, took the front end back out. And uh, well, I took the front end out of the truck. And I wanted to show you guys here um, the C-hubs here that these are the hobby parks for the TRX4 C-Hubs. This is the factory C-Hub off of the HB Toys, the 101, uh, 1001. And you can see HB Toys 1001. That's the original. You can take it right off. The TRX4 C-Hub. I can get it lined right up. Boom. Screw holes, 
and everything line up perfect. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Uh, so you can run the TRX4 uh, C-Hubs on this HB Toys model. So that has confirmed. I have, I'm confirming that the front, on the front end, you can run the TRX4. And this, like I said, this is a brass hobby park upgrade part. This is, it's not going on this. This is for another build. Uh, I just wanted to share that bit, bit of information. And then this is what the front, the spool, the, the, so this is what your spool looks like in the HB toys. I don't know. Uh, just a solid spool mount. This is what the gears look like on it. I'm trying to get it turned here. It's got good, pretty nicely cut in gears and stuff on it. So... Uh, this is the bearings. I didn't show the bearings in the rear, but this is the bearings. They seem to be de decent enough quality bearings. Uh, they're smooth. There's no grinding. Uh, they are like a metal shielded bearing. So they do have like the metal shield shielded bearings in it. So that's your front diff. Um, so the TRX4 C-Hubs confirmed will fit that. So, I just wanted to put that bit of information out there for you guys. Because uh, this is probably going to be one of the last videos that I do on this, other than some running videos. And then I'll give like an actual like total review of my thoughts on the truck. Uh, you know, after a few run videos, and then that'll be about it. Um, I think this is about the most breakdown you could probably get into. I'm not getting into the transmission stuff yet. Uh, so far everything I found other than the outside portal gears being different than the TRX4. And then of course the wheelbase on this is, is the same wheelbase that's on the TRX4 Sport, not the same wheelbase that's on the TRX4 Bronco. So hopefully everybody gets some use out of this information. I'm going to get back into this thing and get it all back together. Because I've got a lot of other projects sitting waiting from the RC Dungeon. Peace.